What's up guys? Welcome to Men About Cake. I'm your host Joshua John Russell and today we're celebrating the first week of summer by doing a cake that you guys request all the time, under the sea. So I'm going to build a two-tiered vanilla cake filled with passion fruit buttercream, finished with colorful sea life and a mermaid tail. A uh, merman, Joshua. Merman tail, sorry. Let's do it! Let's start by breaking down a six inch vanilla cake. You guys know where the recipes are up there in the description box below. Cake frisbees? Hit me. Oh, you're so far back there. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, you're looking very festive today. I know, I have on my Hawaiian shirt. I only have one. I think I bought it for like a Hawaiian party. Your retirement. What? How old do you think I am, Tommy? Okay, I'm retired. <laughs> How about I clean up my crumbs and we fill this guy? Now we're gonna fill this guy with passion fruit buttercream. I'm using uh, my Swiss meringue buttercream recipe, which you can get in the eye or description box. Oh my box. God. Brandon, turn your phone off. This is television. We're live. Wait, let me see if mine's off. <laughs> and I added some passion fruit powder to it. This stuff is so, so good. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. You gotta trim it. Yes. Crumb coat Crumb it. Crumb coat it. Then fine. Final, Final coat it. it. We're learning so good. I'm not gonna trim the sides of this one because I have plenty of room between the board and the cake. So we're just gonna ice it and then final coat it. Yes, I'm icing this in a light blue color because we're gonna go back and mirror glaze this with sort of like a marbly ocean watercolor. You know what that color always reminds me of? The ocean? the ocean. <laughs> First trip to the cooler and then we'll do a final coat. Hey Joshua, you want to hear another user comment? Yeah! Anna Wolf. What's up, Anna? She said, hi, Joshua. Hi. I looked up Margaret Braun and oh, mama mia, I'm right? a fan of hers too. She's amazing. That's my cake hero. Wonderful cake you did today. I'm sure if she sees your cake today, she would go to the over the moon. I see now why you really love her cakes. They have a unique touch and so does your artwork. Well done, have a blessed day. Thanks, Anna, I will have a blessed day. Every day's a blessed day for me. We're gonna start on some of our decorations for our sea life cake. I have some of these really awesome molds. These are like shells. I have some little fishies. I have this awesome seahorse. He's a two-parter, so I can do both sides and stick them together and it's a whole seahorse. And then I've got a cool starfish and some other little clam shells. And I'm gonna do this out of modeling chocolate. I have some sculpting chocolate here. When you get this stuff, it's really hard out of the bucket, so we have to to process it. <laughs> Good thing no one was standing right here because they would have a black eye. All right, let me cut some of this off. I'm gonna make them all in white and then we're gonna paint them with confectioner's glaze later. Let's make some fish first. I'm pushing the chocolate into the mold and then I'm gonna take a knife and cut it away. And then what we're gonna do after this, because these are very delicate, I'm gonna put them in the freezer and then I'm gonna gently pop them out. Do a seahorse. You see this little baby? <laughs> He's so cute. All right, so I got my two halves, and I gotta make one of these starfish because they're so fishes because they're so cool. All right, one more, and then we'll get these guys in the freezer. Perfect. And we'll come back, pop them out. Now we're gonna start on our mermaid tail. So I have uh, this little guy who um, I call Mermanderson Cooper. <laughs> Anyways, I have him for like color inspiration and just so I get sort of the, the parts right. Just in case I'm like, what does a mermaid look like? Oh, that's right, they're not real. But this one is. You know what his name is? What? Beefcake. That's his name, like from the I store? I purchased Beefcake. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for like the, the Bank of America flag to be like, did you, did you, uh, did you order Beefcake? It's for work, I swear! It's for work, it's for work! <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep him close by and then we've got a piece of modeling chocolate that's already processed. 
And I'm gonna kinda do this like I do everything else. Start here and then I'll put it up on my form. And then once I get it how I want it, we'll transfer it to the cake. All right, so we're gonna give it a little bit of life, a little bit of shape here, and then I'm gonna cut the end off. All right, let's get him up onto the form here. My hands are super hot. So I'm gonna set him to the side because he's a little bit warm, and I'm gonna work on his tail and his fins. All right, so I'm gonna roll this thin to one side. All right, so I'm just cutting out the edge of his tail here. use a soft piece of foam because I'm gonna actually make his texture on both sides so I don't want to flip it over and squish what's underneath. First I'm gonna pinch everything really really sort of thin on the edges. So what I'm doing is I'm just <laughs> making some long marks. Alright I got the tail to a pretty good spot and we will make a couple of fins. Alright this is the same idea except we're just gonna make a little fin. So we're gonna do some scales. I'm gonna use just a tip to do this. I think he's in pretty good shape. So now I'm gonna let it set up completely and then we'll glue the tail on and then paint it. <sighs> super, super dangerous, but so fun. So we're gonna make some coral. I have some isomalt here that is boiling, boiling hot. I'm gonna color and we're gonna pour it over ice. I know it sounds crazy, but as it gets into the cracks of the ice and solidifies, you pull it out and it makes these really cool corally shapes. So this one we're gonna do pink. So I'll add a little pink to this. Whoa, that was a lot of pink, it's gonna be very bright. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of titanium dioxide. This is like white, white, just to make it opaque. Just a skosh. I'll take that color. I've got them gloves, just like with the croquembouche. If I get this on my hand, I throw the glove off. Ready? Here we go. See what we made. It sticks to the container a little bit too, so. She's listening, she's coming, she's coming. Whoa! Well, would you think that, you think that, that was gonna suck? Come on, you're a man about cake. So there's gonna be probably pieces of ice that are trapped. If you try to pull them out, you're gonna break your structure, so just let them melt. How cool is that though? We're all gonna be a little different depending on the temperature at which the sugar goes onto the ice. And then also you can change up your ice shape. So these are like little round nuggets of ice. You could do cubes, you can do um, like sonic ice. Mm. Circle ice? Sonic drive-in ice, yeah. like, like snowball ice. It's the best ice. I that is the best that ice. ice. No, that's the best ice! No, best ice. wrong, it's the, the best worst ice. ice. No, the other comments will be more relevant, but I want them to answer below. What? That which is the best ice. Sonic ice is the best ice. I don't but think you're going to win this Chick-fil-A has one. that same ice. Yeah, Chick-fil-A yeah, ice, Chick too. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Atlanta, and I support Chick-fil-A. They need to change the ice program. Hooray! Now I've got to clean up a huge mess. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to paint our merman tail now. I have my colors here. Uh, it's just a variety. I have merman Anderson Cooper as my model. And then I have some confectioner's glaze, a little bit of gold, and some paintbrushes. Now that my tail is completely painted and before it dries, I'm gonna just add some little gold flecks. Now we're gonna mirror glaze our cakes. They're both completely cold. I got my mirror glaze, I thinned it out a little bit and it's warm. We're gonna add a touch of blue, just to get it blue, and then we're gonna add a little bit more blue and kind of swirl it and then see what kind of pattern we can make. So this is neon bright blue, yeah, why not, let's try it. Okay, I'm not gonna mix it all the way. And let's add some turquoise and maybe a couple of drops of white. Here we go. Now we're gonna stack our cake with bubble tea straws. I'm gonna glue it down 
with a little bit of chocolate so it doesn't slide around. And I'm actually gonna cheat it to the back so we can put all of our fun coral in the front. All right, now it's time to decorate. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is add the tail to the top of the cake using bubble tea straws. I mix together some brown sugar and sugar in the raw to emulate sand, and I'm gonna put that around the bottoms here. Now I'm gonna place my colorful coral pieces. I made some seaweed pieces just like I did the hair for the crying onion, and I'm gonna add those next. Now I'm gonna add my sea creatures and shells using white chocolate. Our under the sea cake is complete. I think she turned out beautiful. <laughs> if, you get, if you guys want any of the tools or supplies, it's all in the description box below and there's also a coupon down there for you. Let's taste her. Mm. Breaking news, man eats best cake ever. Thanks, Merm Anderson Cooper. Did you watch Ariel this week? <laughs> Brandon with the hot comebacks today. I got nothing. Because he's embarrassed because he knows all the songs. They made me watch it. And why do you have her sleeping bag? They made me buy the sleeping bag. And the Who, matching pillow. Who's they? <laughs> Disney made me do it. <laughs> Just getting a picture of that is the best thing that happened to me all day. 